chair is kind of squeaky. Hey everyone, this is gonna be a quick intro. I'm just really excited because today I hit 100 subscribers. And I know in the grand scheme of things, that may seem like an insignificant amount, but to me, that means a lot. And I wanna thank every single one of you who has subscribed so far. And I'm hoping that in the future together, we're gonna to be able to build a community and an audience that is just gonna grow and grow. So I just wanna say thanks to every single one of you. And it's been an awesome experience so far and I hope to keep putting out quality content. So this video is gonna be talking about how I replace the TiVo bed support. And then also I add a Y belt tensioner. And I wanted to ask you if you enjoy the format that I've been putting out so far, where I do the top down and just kind of talk through the upgrades that I've been doing, or if you want to see some more in depth or different angles, or if you like me developing different items like I did with the garlic press, or if you want to see more reviews of printers or whatever it is you guys want, I'm willing to do it within reason. So, uh, just let me know, and again, thank you all. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the video. What's up, everybody? The TiVo Tarantula is back, and it's starting to come together. Today, we're gonna to be working on this Y-belt tensioner, and it, work, it gets the job done with how it is, but I wanted to make it easier to tighten the belt. And then we're also gonna be moving in on this bed. And you can see that thin acrylic piece is super wobbly and I wanted to replace it to make it a little more sturdy. So I found this on Thingverse. It's a great bed support. I, re I recommend it to everyone and I'll leave a link in the description. And this is just a quick time lapse of it getting printed out. And this is how it looks once it's all done and put together. So these are the parts and basically the placement of what it's going to look like underneath with the Y belt and some auto leveling like bed nuts. Not auto leveling, leveling bed nets. The first step was to take off the bed so that you could get to the, the belt and, and all the nuts and bolts underneath. Everything came off fairly easy. It was finally putting it all back together. That was the difficult part. So when you download the Y-belt tensioner from Thingverse, it comes with a list of parts that you're going to need and directions on how to assemble it. Luckily I had some parts lying around so I didn't have to go out and buy any, but make sure that you get the right screws and lengths when you, when you finally decide to put this together. Getting those T-nuts on there was a pain in the butt, but I finally was able to get it and then they tightened down pretty easy. It felt really sturdy once it was all done. Then I just had to make sure that the tension nuts themselves kind of kept in place and were tightened down. After that, I moved on to the bed. And if you saw in the opening scene where I showed you what it looked like, in here I'm putting washers on. Make sure that you don't do that because you actually have to take those off. That acrylic piece that I'm borrowing from the kit bed doesn't sit flush if you put washers. And then I was able to, to attach it. Putting it on the bed was good, but it helps to have an extra set of hands when trying to put these belts onto the, the bed support. So I asked Kristen and she came in and rescued me. If anyone has a better way of holding the, the belts to the bed, I would love to know. I'm currently using zip ties and I think it could be done more efficiently. Here I'm just attaching the bed to the, the new bed support and it felt so sturdy once I finally got it on there. This is what it looks like and as you can see the old bed is quite thin so you will lose some Z with this bed support but I never really use the full Z myself. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. These help you level the bed and it's way more efficient. And then this helps you tighten the belt so that you don't have to undo everything every time you need to do it. That's it, I had a blast making this video. Make sure you guys keep that imagination active and keep making stuff. Let me know what you wanna see next, thanks.